Moving on, important developments tonight in an Omaha homicide investigation. A teenager believed to be the gunman. Charles Trotter turned 17 next Monday. He was booked on two counts of first degree murder and two counts of use of a weapon to commit a felony. Police say he gunned down two men in an apartment located just north of 99th and Fort. Dexter Joseph and Marcel Lovejoy were found shot to death late Saturday night. In the past half hour, we heard from Trotter's mother. Lena Tillette was there. She continues our coverage now, Six View Live. Joe Barbara Robinson just addressed the media for about 30 minutes talking to us about her son, Charles Trotter, who has been charged with two counts of first degree murder for the deaths of Marcel Lovejoy and uh, Joseph. And he's been, uh, Barbara had tears in her eyes talking about seeing her son today. She says she told him that she loves him and no crime could take that bond away. She also talked about the tough love that she had to give herself throughout his teenage years, trying to bring him back from doing anything that would get him into trouble. But again, she continued to talk about the love that she gave him and the support that she gave him and that she did not want this to take away from the uh, deaths of Lovejoy and Joseph and the feelings of the victims' families at this time. In fact, she says she talked to the cousins of Lloyd Lovejoy's, and this is what she had to say. I don't want this to be um, repeatedly over and over about Barbara Robinson, the community activist son charged with a double homicide. At this time, what it's about is Marcel Lovejoy and Dexter Joseph, families who have lost their loved ones. And now I have a 16-year-old son who is in jail who may or may not lose a lot of portion of his life. If you ask me, do I know if my son committed the murder or not? Has my son um, told me yes or no? My answer is, I don't know. Um, I'm not going to be a person that say, no, my son would never do that. Or yes, my son did do that because I don't know. And Robinson said that uh, Chief Schmatterer called her about this at about 9.50 this morning to tell her this news, and she immediately went to the jail. She said she immediately started crying when she found out what happened. She, in fact, was at the prayer vigil for the Lovejoys and Josephs just last night, comforting the family, and had no idea at that point that her son could possibly be connected to this as well. She said her son is sad, and that, and not only because of what happened, because, but because of this loss of freedom that he will have and this loss of innocence, is what she said. And again, we will make sure that we update you with any more developments with this story. With photographer Christian Shampoo, Lena Tillette, WOWT 6 News.